Kene Chuku, or Kene for short, was a wealthy Igbo man who lived in Lagos. He owned many businesses in the oil and gas industry. Kene married Ebube, the only daughter of a senator. At first, their marriage seemed perfect, but things soon changed. After their wedding, Ebube's behavior shifted dramatically. She stopped performing her wifely duties and secretly took birth control pills to avoid pregnancy. One day, Kene accidentally discovered the pills hidden in Ebube's dress drawer. Shocked and hot, he confronted her about it. Ebube caught off guard, fumbled for an explanation. I am not ready for children yet, Kene, she finally admitted, her voice trembling slightly. I want to focus on my career as an influencer. Pregnancy would change my body and I can't risk losing my followers. Plus, I am not sure I will be a good mother right now. Kene was deeply disappointed. He had always dreamed of having a large family and he thought Ibube shared that dream. Whenever Kene brought up having children, Ibube would suggest adoption instead. <laughs> Ebube wasn't a good cook, so they spent a lot of money on takeout and restaurant meals. She was also a TikTok influencer and spent more time making live videos than with her family. One day, Kene got angry about spending so much on food and said he wanted home-cooked meals. Ebube suggested he hire a house girl, saying her only duty was to have babies and to be taken care of. Kenneth talked to his best friend, Soma, about the situation. Soma advised him to try and work things out calmly with his wife. So Ibube brought in a village girl named Uju as their house help. She was an orphan from Umwaya. Beautiful, smart, hardworking, selfless, and religious. Uju made delicious meals that Kenneth loved. He often asked for more food even after eating one and praised her cooking, which made Ebube jealous. Ebube warned Kene to stop praising Uju, calling it disrespectful. But this did not change anything. Kene continued to enjoy Uju's cooking. Uju would wake up at 3 a.m. to pray for her family, employers, and herself. One Sunday, as she was getting ready for church, Ebube stopped her and made her do chores instead. Uju felt sad because she hadn't been to church since she came to Lagos. At the end of each month, Uju would send her salary to her two siblings living with their aunt. It would be paying little attention to her husband. She went clubbing, money carelessly, and always asked Kene for more. One day, Kene felt very ill and begged Ibube, his wife, to skip her girl's trip to take care of him. She refused, leaving him all day long. Uju, the house help, took care of Kene, cooking for him and making sure he took his medicine. As Kene recovered, he and Uju started bonding. He asked, he asked her many questions and found her interesting. He could not stop thinking about her. They went shopping together and Kene brought Uju new clothes, telling her to stop wearing her maid uniform. Uju was scared of upsetting her mother and Ibube, but Kene insisted. They spent evenings watching movies and playing games. After a three-week vacation, Ibube returned home and her husband gave her the silent treatment. Feeling guilty, Ibube decided to cook Kene's favorite meal, wanting to impress her husband with her cooking skills. She decided to watch some YouTube cooking videos to learn how to make amala and vegetable soup. When Kene tried it, he immediately threw up. He was angry that Ibube food tested horribly and she did not even know his favorite food after three years of marriage. Kene asked Uju to cook for him instead. One day, he overheard Uju crying. When he asked her, she told him her siblings had been kicked out of their house by their aunts who accused them of stealing. Kenny was moved with compassion, so he invited Uju's siblings to live in their house, which upset his wife, 
After hearing his decision, she packed her things and left for her mother's house. Uju and Kenne grew closer and fell in love with each other. Meanwhile, Ibube's mother advised her to fight for her marriage, but Ibube refused, saying she won't apologize, not until her husband apologizes to her first. Three months later, rumors spread that Kenne was seen with a pregnant woman at the mall. So one morning, she decided to go to the supermarket, planning to buy some groceries and surprise Kenne with a home-cooked meal as a peace offering. It will be filled her cart with expensive ingredients. Confident in her ability to use the joint account she shared with Kenne, as she approached the checkout, she felt a mix of excitement and nervousness. The cashier scanned item after item, the total climb being higher and higher. That will be 250,000 Naira, ma'am, the cashier announced. It will be smiled confidently and handed over her credit card. The cashier swiped it once, twice, then frowned. I'm sorry, ma'am, but your card has been declined. Ibube's heart started racing. That is impossible. Please try again. The cashier tried once more, but the result was the same. Embarrassed and confused, Ibube fumbled for her phone, her hands shaking slightly. She quickly logged into their joint account, her eyes widening in shock as she saw the balance zero nearer. Panic set in as Ibube realized she had been caught off financially. She frantically dialed Kenneth's number, but it went straight to voicemail. She tried again and again, growing more frustrated with each field attempt. Is everything all right, ma'am? The cashier asked, concerned. Ibube, her face flushed with embarrassment, muttered an apology and hurried out of the supermarket, leaving behind the cart full of groceries. As she sat in her car, Tears of frustration welling up in her eyes. She began to see the writing on the wall. Her comfortable life was slipping away and she was powerless to stop it. Determined to confront Ikene, Ibube drove to the house only to be turned away by the security guard. She could not eat or sleep, looking pale and losing followers on her TikTok account. The realization that she might lose everything to Ju the house girl she had brought in filled her with rage and desperation. If I can't have him, no one will. It will be muttered to herself, her mind clouded by jealousy and anger. That may mate I employed. I will teach her a lesson she won't forget in a hurry. Blinded by emotions, it will be made the faithful decision to arrange for assassins to kill Uju. However, her plan backfired when one of the assassins recognized Uju as the kind woman who had once helped his mother at the hospital. He warned Uju about Ebube's intentions. The story concludes with Kene having Ebube arrested for attempted murder. While in jail, Ebube signed the divorce papers, finally accepting the consequences of her actions. After the divorce, Kene and Uju got married. They raised Uju's siblings together and had children of their own. Kene's businesses flourished and Uju started a charity to help orphans and house helps. They lived happily treating everyone with kindness and respect. This story teaches us several important lessons. Neglecting your partner's needs can lead to the breakdown of a relationship. And our actions, good or bad, can come back to affect us in unexpected ways. See you next time. Love you. Bye.